the element of lime. The first thing that you need to do is figure out exactly which patterns you want to include on your final project. So get out those sketchbooks, make lots of different patterns, circle the ones that you want to incorporate in this project. It would also help to go online, type in adult coloring pages or line drawings or patterns. That way you could come up with the most unique, creative artwork. As soon as you decide which patterns you want to incorporate in your final drawing and you're satisfied with all of them, it's time to go to your art folder. Hopefully you've kept it in a safe place. Now I have a confession to make. The very first example that I created, I printed off on regular printer paper. This paper is a nicer quality drawing paper, but I realized it does not work well with pen and ink. So I want to encourage you to do your line drawings with just pencil, and I will explain a little bit more of that later. I do want to encourage you to press lightly with your pencil until you are confident on the line you've drawn, and then you can go back and darken up those lines. I want to encourage you to grab a ruler when you draw straight lines. That will leave your pattern looking neat and pristine. Now, if you insist on using pen and ink, then make sure that you let it dry completely before you go back and erase those pencil lines. One of the goals for this assignment is to create patterns that are unique, creative, and interesting. So it is really important for you to be happy with what you've created in your sketchbook. Also, make sure you do get inspiration so that you're not going back to the exact same pattern. Make sure that some of your line widths are thicker and some of them are thinner. That will give interest to your pattern. If you look at my patterns, you will notice that most of them are organic in shape. That means you can't look at them and say, it's a triangle, it's a square, it's a rectangle. And then I also go back and make some of the line widths thicker. Here's my completed artwork. I wanted to demonstrate why I really suggest that you do not use the permanent marker on this particular project. Originally, I wanted you to use the black marker but I wasn't thinking when I printed these worksheets out on the good quality drawing paper. The permanent marker just bleeds through the paper. If you put any pressure whatsoever on the paper, you lose control. And unfortunately, it starts looking sloppy. You're not able to get really clean lines. Okay, let's move on. Make sure you have a scrap piece of paper you have glue stick and you have some scissors so you can cut out your form. It's really important to take your time, cut right on those lines. 
Do not rush this at all. I know it's a lot to cut out, but you're going to be a lot happier with your project if you slow it down and you make sure that you cut on those straight lines. After you've cut out your piece, it is time to fold all of the tabs. Make sure that you're folding on that line. As you can see, I'm using both fingers to press down. I make sure I have a really crisp fold. This process takes a long time, but you will be so happy with the result if you take your time and you are patient. So make sure you line up those fold lines and you press down pretty hard as soon as you line everything up. I've finished folding everything and now I'm ready to glue it. Now, if you did cut into an area that you did not intend to cut, get some tape, flip over your piece and put the tape on the inside so that you won't see the mistake when you are completely done. I picked the purple glue so you can see that I am putting a generous amount on. I'm using that scratch paper so that I don't get my surface full of glue. I make sure that I keep my hands clean as I'm doing the process. Now I realized that, that when I put glue on the first tab, it's not connecting to anything. That's okay, just move on. So I put glue on my first tab and I have to press down. I would give it 10 seconds maybe before you move on to the next tab. I hope you've noticed that I am only putting glue on one tab at a time. So I put enough on and then I attach the next shape, holding it again for several seconds, maybe even longer, make sure that it's secure before you move on. You are going to be so frustrated if you do not take your time and make sure that it's attached before you move on to the next tab. You want it to be secure in place because if you don't, then the whole thing is going to start falling apart. Now, the one thing I do like about this nice drawing paper is that it's a little thicker. If I was to use the printer paper, it would be a little harder 
to put it together because the tabs wouldn't be as stiff. I've noticed that I have a glue on my fingers. If that happens to you, stop what you're doing, take the time, wash your hands, make sure they are completely dry before you go back to gluing the rest of your piece. You will be so happy that you did this so that it looks pristine and nice at the end. During this process, I stopped what I was doing and washed my hands at least twice. So please do what I do and um, make sure that you don't have sticky fingers. Right at the end, it might seem a little bit difficult. Just make sure you put glue on the remaining tabs. There's four here. And then pop up those tabs so that when you press down on your last shape and hold it there, obviously at least 10 seconds, then it will be secure. This is another reason why I'm glad I used thicker paper to do this assignment. It's been a long process, but I'm really happy how it turned out. This form is very fragile, so make sure that you treat it with care. Get a shoe box to store it in, or you can also choose to find a plastic container with a lid that you can place this form in as well. You will have six or seven of these forms when you are completely done. And then we are going to make a mobile out of them. So it's really important that you keep it nice and secure. Please consider using a sharpened pencil or a black ballpoint pen for this assignment instead of the permanent marker like we originally discussed. Keep in mind that the marker is hard to control because it spreads quickly. I chose a paper that is difficult to use with this medium and I apologize for that. Drawing paper will work great with the other element drawings in this project. Make a plan by sketching out plenty of patterns in your sketchbook first. Pick the best drawings to include in the final composition. Your patterns should be unique, creative, and interesting. Look over the rubric before you get started. That is how I'm grading your assignment. Ask questions before you begin the final project. Take your time and draw slowly. If you mess up, problem solve. How can you change the mistake into something creative? Take a photo of your artwork before you cut it out. This is really important. Make sure you take the photo outside in the sunlight and upload it to the assignments page. Cut out your form carefully. If you do cut off something by mistake, fix it with tape on the back side of the paper. If you get glue on your hands, stop and wash them. Your project will thank you. Take a photo of your artwork outside in the sunlight and upload it to the assignments page once it is completely finished. Store your project in a shoebox or plastic container with a lid. I really hope you had fun doing this project on the element of lime.